navigating the Windows interface with your screen reader. Okay, so you have booted up your computer and now you have a desktop window in front of you, which is what we have on screen right now. Desktop window, of course, is where you can perform any kind of task you want to do with the computer. So you must understand how to navigate it and, and use it. The desktop window consists of two main parts, the desktop and the taskbar. The desktop is the main area of the desktop window, which, which makes sense. And the desktop basically consists of icons, which are little pictures representing uh, programs or files that you can have access to. Also though, in addition to the desktop, the window also has the taskbar, which is a horizontal bar running along the bottom of your screen. The taskbar itself also has other sections, which you will hear when we go through with our tab key. So the tab key will allow us to go through varying sections of the entire desktop window. Okay, so let's use the tab key now and see what we hear. Start button. Type here to search button. Talk to Cortana button. Task view button. Running applications toolbar. Microsoft Edge button. Notification Chevron button. Show desktop button. Folder view list. Okay, so you heard that the tab key took us around the different sections of the desktop window. And among other areas, you heard desktop, you heard start button, running applications toolbar, notifications area. Now, all of these areas or sections have their own functions. So it follows that you must be able to navigate and use each of these sections, right? Okay, let us begin with learning how to navigate the desktop. We're going to use our tab key again to get back to the desktop. Type here to search button. Talk to Cortana button. Task view button. Running applications toolbar. Microsoft Edge button. Notification Chevron button. Show desktop button. Folder view list. Recycle bin 1 of 4. Okay. Folder view list. Recycle bin 1 of 4. This is the desktop. I know it says folder view list. You'll find that the screen reader will sometimes announce this area as such. Whenever it says desktop list, desktop, or folder view list, one and the same. It has arrived at the desktop, which is a list of icons, which remember are little pictures representing programs or files. Okay. Upon reaching any area of the desktop window, which with, of course, the tab key, which we just used, once you want to remain in that area and navigate within that area, you can use your arrow keys. I'm going to use my down arrow. Google Chrome 204. Google Chrome 204, which of course means that, that it is on the second icon or icon number two of a total of four. So let's see. Microsoft Edge 304. Edge is 304. Dropbox 404. Dropbox is 404. And I'm pressing it down, I don't go nowhere else. There is a total of four icons on the, the desktop. We can go up again. Microsoft Edge 3 of 4. Google Chrome 2 of 4. Recycle Bin 1 of 4. And we are back to the Recycle Bin, which is the first of the four icons on the this desktop. Now, your desktop may have many, many other icons, but because, of course, the desktop is customizable, the recycle bin always comes with a computer. The recycle bin icon is always on the desktop. But as you use your computer, you may put other icons or other icons may be placed on your desktop as time goes on, right? But you can use your up and down arrows to go through the icons on your desktop. You can also use what we call first letter navigation, all right? And that means you press the first letter of any program or file that you know is on your desktop and you will get there. For instance, I know Dropbox is on my desktop. So I'm going to press D for Dropbox. D. Dropbox 404. See, it heads right to Dropbox. I'm going to press D again. D. It goes nowhere else because, of course, there's no other icon with the letter D. Uh, let me try another one. I know Microsoft Edge is there, so let me press M. 
M. Microsoft Edge 3 of 4. Good. M. Right. So pressing the first letter of any program or file that happens to be on your desktop will take you directly there. Let me also okay. clarify that the not only can the up and down arrows be used on the desktop, but the left and right arrows can also be used because the icons if you have many icons on your desktop they'll be placed in rows and columns so the up and down arrows will allow you to move between the rows and the left uh, or right arrows will allow you to move between columns it wasn't necessary in this case because this desktop doesn't have that many icons but just note that the arrows any of the arrow keys will allow you to move around the desktop icons as well as as well as of course first letter navigation will take you to any icon you would like to visit on your desktop and how would you open the program or file that you land on just press enter so if you wanted to open Dropbox you could press D like what we did before and when it says Dropbox just press enter on it very easy all right now that, let's look at another section of the desktop window that's the start button Let's tap to it. Start button. It says start button. We're going to enter it. Start window. Cortana window. Search box edit blank. Okay, and it says start window, uh, Cortana window, search box edit. Now the start or this Cortana window has varying sections within itself. You could literally use the tab key to get around this particular start window as well, but we're just going to focus on one main area of the start of the start window or the Cortana window, and that's the search box, which you just heard it announce. Search box is very important because this is where you can you can use a start search box to search for any program or file that is on your computer. On the desktop, you have to depend on if the icon was placed there. So if a program is not found on your desktop, then you would be able to open it from the desktop. However, any program or any file that is on your computer can be reached from the start search box. So let us learn how to use it. So it just announced the start search box. All you would have to do is type in your search query. So say we wanted to use Microsoft Word. All right, I choose to type in Word as in W, First, let's listen. W. W. Word app. Press right to switch preview one of seven. And it says Word app. Immediately. All I would have to do is press enter and it would open Word for me. I'm going to press enter. Document to Word. Home grouping. Good afternoon. New grouping. List. And it automatically opens Word for me. It's going to close out of my screen. Desktop list. Microsoft Edge 3 of 4. And we are back on our desktop window. So yes, the start menu is very, very important. You can use it to search for any program. Let's do it again. Tab to the search, the, the start button. Start button. It says start button. Gonna press enter on it to open it. Start window. Cortana window. Search box edit blank. It says search box. All you would have to do is type in your search query. Listen to see if your screen reader will announce the program or file which you are indeed looking for and once it says it just press enter and that would be it all right so let's check out another area on the desktop window let's look at the notifications area gonna tab to it again start button type here to search button talk to cortana button task view button running applications toolbar My notification chevron button notifications chevron button this is the notifications area and it is an area that you will get notifications so let's let us see so instead of using our tab key now we're gonna switch to our arrow keys as we do that as we did with the desktop the arrow keys will allow us to navigate within notifications area all right using my right arrow user promoted notification area toolbar meet now button meet now is a part on uh, a button on my computer notifications area Dropbox 112.4.321 up-to-date button. It's giving me a notification on my Dropbox. OneDrive up-to-date button. OneDrive. Google Chrome is using your microphone button. 
telling me about Chrome. 5 HR 22 minutes, 62%, remaining button. That's the battery level on my machine. CWC 334 4, 4, That 5, is my speakers, internet 96% button. Speakers, and it says 96%. System clock, 420 PM, 1 slash 2 slash 2021 button. System clock, 421 PM, 1 slash 2 slash 2021. That's of course the system clock and it's giving you the time and date. Action center button. Action center. Notification chevron button. And it has wrapped back around to the notification chevron button. So yes, this notifications era is a very important era. You will need to use it. So right arrowing or using your up or down arrow or left arrow will allow you to go through these different sections. Your computer may have different options. Okay. Um, so to sum up, what we've learned so far is that the tab key will take us around to different sections of the desktop window. However, if we want to navigate within any particular section, the arrow keys will allow us to do so, except of course for the start window, which has the search box, which is an area where you can actually type in using your typing keys, search queries, but every other area basically you can use the arrow keys to navigate within each area. In addition to arrow keys though, the desktop, remember that we can also use first letter navigation to reach any icon to represent that represent a program or file that we want to access. Okay. Oh yes. The tab key will allow us to move to the different sections of the desktop window. It will move us through the desktop listing or the folder view list, through the past the start button, running applications toolbar, the notification chevron, all of those errors will be passed with will you know get you can get to with your tab key. However, there are quicker keystrokes to get us to these different sections. So as a blind or visual impaired user or someone who depends on a screen reader, there are some keystrokes you can use to get directly to the, for instance, the desktop. To get to the desktop, you can use Windows D, meaning you hold down the Windows key and press D, then release both. I'm going to do that now. Folder view list, Microsoft Edge 3 of 4. And see, it announces folder view list and it jumps to the microsoft edge which is three or four and of course you can you're now on the desktop you can navigate the desktop as you wish up or down google chrome two or four recycle bin one or four or you can use first letter navigation say you want to go to dropbox i'll try d d dropbox four or four right and it would go there directly of course if there are other icons with a d it would jump to other icons as well but just keep pressing the d until you hear the one that you want okay Okay, also to get to the notifications area button, you can use the keystroke Windows B as in boy. Let's try that now. Notification Chevron button. And it announces the notification Chevron button. And upon arriving this at this area, of course, you can use your arrow keys to go through. Let's try again using my left arrow. Action center button. Action center. System clock. 434 p.m. 1 slash 2 slash user, user promoted notification area toolbar. Right. And it will announce all of that. Right. So that's the notifications area. Also, if you wanted to activate the start button, you can just press Windows key by itself. Doing that now. Start window. Cortana window. Search box edit blank. Exactly. Press it again and it closes the start window or Cortana window. Desktop list. Dropbox 404. Let me press it again to reopen it. Windows key. Start window. Cortana window. Search box edit blank. And of course, it announces the search box. You could go ahead and type your search query for any program or file that you would like to activate. I'm going to press it again to close it. Desktop list. Dropbox 404. There are also shortcuts to hear the time. So, yes, you could get to the notifications area and then arrow through to hear the system clock but you don't have to do that you can use the keystroke insert f12 to hear your time we're gonna do that 4 35 p.m. 4 35 okay and if you press it twice if you hold down the insert and press the f12 twice you will hear 
the date as well. Saturday, January 2nd, 2021. Right. So it announces it announces it announces the date. All right. So here ends the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.